Hello everybody. Today what I got on this funky little apparatus I set up here on a stand is the infamous Seth Thomas 124, which is known in the clock making community to be quite a headache, mainly just due to the complexity of it and the fact that the mainsprings, this barrel here is not even connected to this gear right here. This is actually just a can that is attached to this front plate that's separate from the main plate, and that can is what the mainspring sits in. So the only way to get the mainsprings out is to make an arbor of your own that'll work in the mainspring winder, or you can just pull them out and wind them back in by hand, but that is dangerous and there's controversy about that, which is that it can distort the spring depending how you bend it. Well, enough of me talking about that. I'm going to show you something here. So I found out the issue of the clock here. You may have seen on a previous video that this clock was um, was just striking way too much. And I found out the problem right here. The rack hook that you see. my fing You see what my finger's pointing at? That's the rack hook. That's the rack. And that spinning thing is the gathering pallet. And when this lifts up, it just gets stuck up there. And so the gathering pallet just keeps trying to push that rack back, and it just cannot. And just notice how sticky this is. So once I push it back into place, of course, now it's working as it should. And you can see that this pin didn't drop down all the way like it was supposed to because it's so gummed up. Push that down. Actually, never mind, it did, but it didn't do it before. But this is a perfect example of why you you never oil anything on the movement that requires gravity to function because um, you've kinda, you'll kind of ruin the movement because at first it'll work just fine, but over time that oil's gonna get very sticky and gooey. And so anything that involves gravity, like the rack hook and all these other levers, and the hammers, they just, they won't function properly. Like on the hammers, you'll find clocks that somebody will lubricate the hammers right here. And over time, they'll get sticky. So instead of, you know, just dropping freely like that, it'll kind of just go like this. And sometimes it'll be so stiff that when it strikes the, the rod, the chime rods, you don't hear anything. So... More than anything, take this video as a lesson as to why you should never oil anything that is gravity related or relies on gravity to function properly. The only things that you should be oiling are each and every pivot hole on the front and back plates. And you can put some oil on both of the entrance and exit pallets that interact with the escape wheel. So take this as a lesson and... That's kind of it for today. I just wanted to show you something to teach to teach people a lesson. And this clock is going to be serviced one day, but I want to have a little more practice before I tackle this guy because this clock is known for being so notoriously difficult to work on. Um, that's all, and um, goodbye. I will see you next time.